Hey, and welcome back to the channel. I have been gone for a hot minute, but I'm hoping to get back into somewhat of a uploading routine. Today, I'm gonna to be taking you guys along with me through the day, just to kind of show you a little bit of the ins and outs of being a stay-at-home mom of four girls as we are doing some homeschooling. We're doing a little mini class on insects with a neighbor of ours. I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit of some sprouting that I've been doing. I'm gonna show you a little bit of fermenting, not the how-tos, but what's going on. Give you a little bit of life updates and just kind of take you through our day. Okay, so it is nine o'clock. Um, I have kind of got myself ready. I do want to do a little bit of yoga, but not yet. I think we're gonna go ahead and get school done right away. Also check out the cool forts that we got going on this morning. I actually kind of love when they do stuff like this, even though it looks like a disaster, it's really easy to clean up. Hi Rosie, she just woke up. Good morning. But yeah, um, stuff like this keeps them entertained for a little while and allows me to get some morning stuff done. This is day three, I think, of my sprouts. I just bought these off of Amazon, um, organic non-GMO seeds, um, alfalfa sprout. This was only two tablespoons and it made a full, these are the one quart size mason jars. Um, but yeah, so two tablespoons. And this is how the first night I just put them in water and let them soak. And then I have these little strainer things that I also got on Amazon and they just fit a um, one of the lids with a hole in it. Um, and so what I do is I'll just strain this off the next day and I just lay it on the counter flat like this and I just rinse it maybe sometimes twice a day and just drain it out make sure you drain it well. And then in three days you have sprouts and this whole bag I think was like 15 bucks. And you literally only use two tablespoons for one container and then look at all the sprouts you get. And I know if you go to the grocery store to get sprouts, they're literally like $5 for a small container. So totally worth it. Also, I have some fermenting going on. This is a curry sauerkraut and then this is just a standard, like a basic cabbage kraut. Um, I do not have any seasonings or anything in this. Um, if they turn out good, I might give you guys like a quick little how-to on these um, but I'm gonna I'm testing out these um, pickle pipe things um, and so we'll see if the ferment goes as well as last time next brain break 10 jump side to sides One, two, three, three. so these are her brain breaks these actually are a really great idea to if you kind of feel like you're getting in a rut with something just to get your mind off of um, the schoolwork <laughs> for a second. Anyway, they pick one and they're really, honestly, they actually really like them. So they pick one out and then, or four or five, however tired their brain is. Um, you just pick them out and you do whatever's on the stick. Done? Nope. Keep going. I'm not, I'm on eight. Okay, Lila has finished her school. It is 1040 now which is really great for us that now we have the rest of the day <clears throat> for whatever else. Nobody actually had breakfast. They were eating barbecue potato chips while we did school. So I am now making them a real nutritious breakfast of butter noodles and eggs. So that's what they're having. To go with the kids breakfast, I also decided to make this green smoothie. This is one of the kids favorite smoothies. So all you're gonna need to make this smoothie is you're gonna need some bananas, preferably frozen. Then you're gonna need your choice of a protein powder. I used a vegan chocolate protein powder and then some powdered peanut butter as well as some flax seeds, some chia seeds, and a bunch of spinach. And then you're going to add this and um, milk to a blender and just blend it up. And this is a really easy way to get kids to eat greens into their diet and it's really delicious. The chocolate from the protein powder and the peanut butter kind of disguise any other flavors in there and yeah the kids love it so this green smoothie is a go-to smoothie for us mostly because they get a ton of protein and a ton of greens um, so I use almost a whole pound of spinach just for one smoothie and that actually splits out evenly between all of them and I mean 
I don't know about y'all, but I think for most moms, it's hard to get your kids to eat greens, so this is a great way to get greens in. are done with breakfast done with school um i have sent the kids outside and one of them just won't stay outside and she's having an attitude so she is in her room now um, but i wanted to take a second to kind of explain to you guys why i have been mia on youtube um so i have kind of self-diagnosed myself with um adrenal fatigue and I did not really know how to come out of this except to like disconnect from social media and all other obligations that were demanding my time, energy, and efforts, YouTube being one of those. Um, so with that being said, there's a lot of changes to our diet as well as our lifestyle. Um, and I don't, I'm not going to really get into those now because I don't really know how I want to approach that yet. Um, I am about to start a load of laundry. Um, I probably do a load or two every single day because it is impossible to keep up with laundry in a household of four girls who are constantly changing um, without doing multiple loads a day. So I just feel like it keeps me caught up. So I'm gonna do the dishes, the laundry, and then we're going to head to town to go do a, to go do that return and then We'll see where we're at. If anything exciting happens, I'll let you guys know. I'm about to get everybody dressed and I have to run to the post office to return a bathing suit. Here's Emmy's outfit of the day. She's got a bracelet and a beautiful long dress. Rosie, did you go potty? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got you. What are you yeah. be doing? All right, y'all. Six hours later and we're finally headed out the door. We didn't even really get dressed. Like threw dresses on and sandals. I don't understand why it takes so long to get out of the house. All right. You got the twinsies buckled? You got yours buckled? A cavity? Molar. Oh, it's probably from the blueberries. Okay, all right, buckle up, let's go. Well, that went well. Um, we drove to Parkton to mail off a return, and I didn't even print off the late the return label. So that was a waste. Well, it wasn't a waste of trip. We walked across the street to the dollar store and got some popsicles, and we got to see a rat snake. So that was cool. So we're headed home now. I guess I'll be running back out here um, later when Pam's doing the class um, and try again. What is it? The water slides on? Did you have a pop pop too? Yeah. yeah. Everybody is in from slip and slide and we are about to lay the twins down and then the girl big girls will be having a class with my neighbor and she's so awesome we're going to there's Anya um, she is actually going to stay with the big kids so I can run to the post office and I gotta go out to the pond and spray for poison ivy because we have it really bad out there so that's what we're gonna be doing but first I'm gonna lay the twins down Mama. Mama. I currently have their um, mattresses from their cribs just on the floor and their room is pretty bare right now um, and that's because they wouldn't stay in their cribs that night. Mm. 
And the twins are finally asleep. And so now I'm gonna eat. I have some leftover um, like lentil uh, curry. Whoa. Garbanzo bean curry, not lentil bean curry. Lent Ugh. Chickpea curry. So I'm gonna eat that with some of my sprouts. And then Pam should be here any minute. And I'm gonna do some errands and get some stuff that I need to get done. Yeah. I'm just gonna sit. Really? Yes. <laughs> you put real lip gloss on her? <laughs> <laughs> so, Mom, look, this is our bug catcher. Nice! Wow. What do we'll do? Put the nectar and they'll put their little things in. Proviscus? Yeah, drink. their little proviscus. They'll put it down in there and drink it. So, that's what the sugar packet's for. You're gonna take oh, that, you're gonna mix it with a, with a warm water, not hot water. Okay, y'all. So, made it to the post office. Pam's here now doing the class with the girls. So I have mixed me up a big concoction of vegetation killer and I'm headed to the woods. Pretty much anything with three leaves out here is going down. I decided just to do like a small area. I didn't even use the full gallon. I'm gonna do just a small area just to see how it turns out. And then if it works good, then I'll continue on my mission of destroying the poison ivy. But the twins are up, so I'm gonna head back inside. Yeah. I'm gonna share it to see. Is it? I thought it was. Guys, you are in my room. Let's take it out. That's your wasted up on Amy. Amelia. I'm a hoodie. I'm a chance. 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 You, um, with a lot of chocolate. Mm -hmm. you a lot of chocolate, big chocolates. Emmy, how's your snack? Well, I have a Do you like your snack? Great. Yes, ma'am. Great, oh, so good. I, a centipede has too many legs to be an insect. So what is it? I don't know. <laughs> All right, great story. <laughs> the class is over, and now we're gonna head to Gammy's for dinner, which is really nice because I don't have to cook dinner. We have Anya staying the night with us tonight. So that's always fun having friends over. She's actually, she's a really big help too with the twins. So, all right, here we go. Hi guys, um, I have a, I have a show in here. <laughs> My name is Cake to Cake. And I've been playing with all of I'm a butterfly right now. Hi guys. Guys, I have butterfly ears on my head right now. All right viewers, if you are here for the day in the lives, here is another video for you guys, another quarantine style video to include a workout as well as a recipe. And if you know, you're know you here more for the channel for food, here's another what I eat in a day. That'll hopefully be my next upload, which will be coming to you next Wednesday or Thursday. Um, otherwise, keep watching. Comment down below, please, and let me know. What do you wanna see more of, recipes or daily stuff gardening fermenting like my daily stuff so just let me know anyway thanks for watching this video come back next time tomorrow